Next is moment of a force about specified axis. So now we want to apply the principles of moment. So what is a moment of force about a specified axis? So first for a moment of a force about a point, the moment and its axis is always perpendicular to the plane that containing the force and the distance or moment arm. So here, a scalar or vector analysis is used to find the component of the moment along a specified axis that pass through the point. Next, here we can see that how to determine the moment of force about specified axis in terms of scalar analysis. So here, you can see that uh, this part assembly that lies in the horizontal plane and is subjected to the vertical force F at point A is equal to 20 Newton. So first, we need to determine uh, what is the MO, MO here. Because we want to determine uh, the moment of force at specified as this Y here. So first, we need to determine moment about point O. So here is this to the F. So we can have, um, here we can use the R here. So moment about point O is equal to 20 times. 0 0.5 so it's good to 10 dot uh, newton dot meter so it is counter clockwise so also you can use the right hand row so uh, when your force go down so your pump also go down so your force go down and then goes to the point o so pumps uh, you direct your pump go down go to uh, point o is become counter clockwise so your uh, your thumb will show the moment as is, so like this. So this is your MO. So this MO, so we have a 10 Newton dot meter. So now we want to uh, determine this MO specified to this as this Y. So this is the as this Y. So we can have that this uh, uh, MY is equal to m o dot what dot uh, we can have that uh, dot u u means that direction to y so here uh, for this case uh, we can resolve uh, by using the theta so let's say this is theta how to determine the theta is based on the scalar uh, because it look like this so let's say uh, this is the mo now you want to resource to this uh, as this y so this as this y uh, what is this theta what is this angle because here you have been given that uh, 5 3 and 4 so you m y is equal to here so m y is equal to 3 over 5 times 10 here so it's equal to 6 newton dot meter so also for directions of moment y you can apply the right hand rule so here and here this is the here uh, this moment goes to y so you can use your uh, palm so your palm uh, go up vertical and your and your curl goes to the as this y so this why this is show the m y this thumb. So also counter clockwise. Next, in term of uh, vector analysis, how we can determine that moment of force about a specified axis. So first, here, uh, similar to the previous uh, scalar example. So this is the f. So this is the point a. So we want to determine what is the moment about this point O. So you can have that MO is equal to okay, this R 
cross F. Right. So you can get that this is the moment point O is equal to R cross S. So now, how to determine the moment about specified as this at this A prime. This one. This line. So first, so uh, MO at this is here. So this is the MO. MO is equal to R cross F. So now from this uh, axis, you want to project to this one. So if you have the magnitude, then you can use this theta to get the moment about specified axis at point A. So here, um, in scalar, you can have that MA is equal to M uh, moment at point O cos theta. So, it's equal to MO dot U. U is the direction. So, it's the unit vector that defines the directions exist that we want to determine. Okay. So, here, if you want to do in vector, so you can have that MA. Okay. MA is equal to MA is referred to the specified exist. So, here is the UA. UA refers to the... Um, Unit vectors of directions of axis that we want to determine. So, R cross F is the moment from the force and R here. So, here in vectors analysis, we can analyze that moment of force at specified axis. So, for this example, at axis A. So, in problem, you can have X, Y, Z, A, B, C. Or A means that any axis. So, refer to any axis that we want to determine, right? So, now we can use the um, vector a uh, triple product. Okay. So, here we can have that moment about, uh, moment of force about specified axis. So, let's say MA here is equal to UA dot R cross F. So, UA means that the unit vectors along the AS, AA axis. A means that any axis. So, R cross F, R is the uh, any point on the specified axis to any point A. Which A is the point, the line of action force. So, F is force. So, here this is the determinant. So, we can uh, write in the determinant. So, the first row is for the uh, axis. Okay. So, for the unit vector. So, the unit vector, you can have a unit vector in I, J and K. And then here, uh, this is the R. Okay, the position vector. And the last row is the F. Here, we, we want to solve okay, the similar example with the scalar analysis by using the vector analysis. So, now we want to determine uh, the components of uh, moment about point O about the Y as E. So, we want, we want to determine the MY. So, here, this is the MO. MO is given by uh, this F. So, this F is downward. Downward for the Z as this. It become negative 20K. So, uh, to get the MO, R cross F. So, this is the R. So, how to determine the position vector is given by this uh, I and given by this. And uh, this is 1J. This is the I. So, you can have that 0.3I plus 0.4J. So, this is the position vector A. So, this is the F. So, F is the negative 20K because uh, the F is uh, downwards. Okay. So, you can have that. Uh, moment about point O is equal to negative 8I plus 6J. Newton dot meter. Okay. So, now we want to resolve. We want to specify to this UA. So, this UA lies in Y. So, what is J? So, here U, A, the uh, unit direction, okay, unit vector A is equal to J here. So, you can have that. Uh, U, A is equal to J. 
then you can dot with this moment. So, my is equal to um, moment at point O dot UA. So, UA is J here. So, when you solve, so uh, negative I dot J is become 0 because I dot J is 0. So, plus with 6J dot J. J dot J is 1. So, it's become C. So, that is why my is equal to 6 newton dot meter. Next, this is the summary of how to determine the moment of a force about specified axis. So, in scala, we have that moment at point O is equal to F T O. Okay, D is the perpendicular to the F. So, now about the specified axis, so we can use that M A is equal to F D A. So, D A is the perpendicular or shortest distance from the first line of action to the axis or any specified axis, for example, A A. So, here we have no moment about a specified axis if the first line of action is parallel or passes through the axis. Okay, in uh, vector analysis, so we have that uh, moment at point O is equal to R cross F. So, we understood that R is the distance uh, from the point O to the point F. So, now we want to determine the moment of force about specified axis AA. AA means any, any axis. So, we can have that this formula. So, MA is equal to UA dot MO. So, we can use that triple dot product. So, must remember UA is represent the directions of the axis. So, uh, let's say you can have that. This one. Okay, here is your X, Y and Z. So, let's say uh, refer to as this X is equal to I as usual. When to as this Y is J. And then Z is K. Okay, what happened if in between here, this is the axis. So, we need to get this unit vector in between I and J. Okay, so here R is directed from any point on the axis to any point on the line of action. So here, the last one, sign of scalar indicates the directions of MA. If positive, MA has the same, have the same sense as the uh, UA. But if negative means that MA acting opposite to the UA, opposite to the directions of the axis. Here is the applications of the moment about the specified axis in scalar analysis. So here you can see that this force can create moment at this point O by using this R cross F. So this is the moment created at point O. MO is equal to R cross F. So now how we can specify this moment projection to this Y, to this axis Y. So MY can be determined by that. Resolve this MO with this theta. So we can have that MY is equal to MO cos theta. Or you can have that uh, what is the U I here? Okay, next. So this is the next example. So this is the force. So here, uh, with the force P, a person is creating a moment M A. So this is the M A here. Moment at point A. Okay, using the flex uh, handle socket range. Does all of M A act to turn the socket? How will you calculate and answer this question? So, how to calculate moment at point A here? So, this is the force. So, you can get this. Uh, so, you can have that. MA. Sorry. So, MA 
uh, this right so here uh, here let's say you can have O so M A is equal to U A dot R cross F next so here we have the force at this point B so sleeve A of the bracket can provide a maximum resisting moment so you can have that moment is equal to 1 to 5 newton dot meter about the axis x here so how you determine the maximum magnitude of f before turning about the axis so you can have this one right this one so you can get the m a is equal to r cross f so you need to determine r is the position vector so f is given so uh, if you want to uh, if in uh, 3d uh, in vector okay is in vector so we need to resolve in Cartesian so if you want to uh, specify this moment into this axis at so it's become mx is equal to uh, unit vector for x is i so here you have i dot r cross f now let's solve example 4.11 so we have a force is applied to the tool as shown determine the magnitude of the moment of the force about the x axis so here you may refer to this figure so this is the axis x so must remember x means that u is equal to i okay now this is the f so this f is 200 newton so we need to uh, convert into cartesian right i j k so here this is the uh, info that uh, can be used to convert the f in Cartesian. So now we need to determine um, the moment at this point first. So we need to determine uh, this position vector. Right. So what is this? R O A. So we can have that here. So here, uh, here the moment force go to this. So you can have that uh, M Z M Z is equal to. So here you can get the R cross F. You get the moment at this point O. Okay. So here U is the I. Okay. Then you can get uh, this one. This is F. Mx because uh, the question need to determine the uh, moment of force at specified as this at. So now you need to determine what is the ROA because the F you can use this info. So this one, so 45, so you, you can have the alpha, beta, gamma, right? Uh, you can have that. Uh, 200 uh, so uh, alpha is the this one so this is for the i 120 remember uh, so for the j is 60 degree and for the z is 45 degree so you can change so it's become f is equal to uh, the magnitude 200 so we have that 200 cos 120i so plus uh, because of all positive so we have 200 uh, cos 60j plus 200 cos 45k and then how to determine the r r is the position vector o e so what is the coordinate o when the O is 0, 0, 
0. What is the coordinate A? What is A? How to determine the coordinate A? So, A is 0 also. And then, uh, what is the Y? What is 0 0.3? Uh, remember, because this is unit meter, then unit code, you don't need to convert. So, 0 0.3 J. And then, what is the Z? Z is 0 0.25. So, can you solve this? Okay, here, how you can solve the problem. So, here, uh, U is the directions of specified AZ. So, U is I because of this X. So, this is the I. So, here, I because of this is uh, exactly on the X. So, M, we represent that 1, 1, I. So, ROA is coordinate A minus coordinate O. So, you can get that 0 0.3J plus 0 0.2K meter. Then, this is the F. So, you already convert the Cartesian. So, this is the value. Then, you can substitute into this determinant. Uh, so, this is the U. So, here I. So, because of this I, J and K. So, you can have this 0, 0. So, this is I. So, now... So, uh, we can simplify this determinant because uh, the specified as this is i, is 1. So, we can have this thing only. Okay. For the i at j and k, we don't have to do because it's already 0 here. This is 0. This is 0. So, you can have that 0 0.3 multiply 1 for 1.4 minus... 0 0.25 multiply 100 like this. So the final answer will be so mz is equal to 70.4 newton dot meter. So the direction of the moment is counted clockwise because this is positive. Next example 4.12. So here we have force is given 30 newton. Nah, so you must understand that. So, you, when the force is given magnitude only, so we need to uh, resolve into Cartesian. Okay. So, now the F uh, is given that the alpha 60, beta 60, gamma 45. So, this means that this is for resolve in I, J and K. So, determine that moment of S or moment of F about the A at as is. So, A at as is is here. So, wait, what is this as is? So, here if the Z, this is X and this is Y. So, this as this is parallel to Y. So, this is the Y. So, Y means that U A is equal to J. So, you can say that uh, 1 J. Okay. So, next... Uh, U A we have or identify which is J. So now we want to determine the, the line of action. So this is the F. So the line of action to this as this is the R O A. So how to determine the position vector R O A? So you need to de determine what is the coordinate A and what is this uh, position or coordinate this one, this point. This point O. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, next. So, this is the 100 mm. 100 mm and 50 mm. So, what you should do? Convert. So, we need to convert into meter. Okay. Next. Okay. After you determine the ROA, then we can solve that. The moment uh, of force about the axis A. So, we can have the MA is equal to U A dot R O A cross F. So here we can have that the directions of X is the U A is equal to J, and then the position vector uh, E O here. So E O here. So you can have that. Uh, this point A is zero zero zero. And then uh, this point O, you can have that. So this is the X. So this is the Y. And then this is the Z. So your X here is uh, 100 speaker. 
zero point one. So, uh, it's it's because of this is positive. So to this way is negative. So you can have that. Uh, o is negative zero point one, and then uh y. So what is uh, zero? And then k k is uh, downward down. So you can have that fifty plus hundred uh, is bigger. Uh, 150 so 0 0.15 so you can have that uh, this uh, O minus A so here you have that um, this one is the A O eh? A to O so that's why O minus A A O here uh, O minus A so, so you can have that position vector is uh, negative 0 0.1 plus 0 0.15k and then uh, you can resolve the force for the 30 uh, newton so you can have that 30 cos 60i plus uh, 30 cos 60j plus 30 cos 45k uh, so this is the answer for the Cartesian okay next you can substitute into the determinant so this is the i j and k so because of the U A is a J, so J is one here. So uh, this is the force. So this is the R. So this is the R. Uh, this is the R, and then this is the force here. So now you can solve. So here we have. We can have the I here because of I determinant. Uh, J, sorry, because of the U A is J here, but the determinant we start with the negative. Remember, ah, uh, so that's why it's here is negative. So one is uh, refer to the uh, any uh, the specified axis of J. Okay, and then uh, inside you can have that so like this. So you have this one. Okay, this is and cross this one. So negative 0 0.1 multiply 21.1 minus 0 0.15 multiply 15. So the final answer MA is equal to 4.37 Newton dot meter. Uh, so this is the direction of the MA. Newton dot meter. Next, let's solve example 4.30. So here we have force. So here force is given in Cartesian already. So at the point A here. So this is the force. So now determine the moment of the force about the X and A axis. So this is the X. So this is the X. So first you need to determine the MX. So MX is equal to... Uh, U X dot uh, cross F. Right. So F here is given in Cartesian. Then you need to depend the R. So what is the R? So R here is the positions of uh, this to this. Uh, so you can name it the R A. So how to determine the R A? So definitely you need to determine the position, uh, the coordinate O here and the coordinate A here. Okay. And then uh, this is the X. So X, U, X is equal to I. So here this is the 1I. So you can have uh, what uh, R and then you can substitute into determinant. Here is the answer for the R. So R here. So um, you can determine that R is equal to negative I plus 4J plus 6K. And then U, X, uh, the direction of specified as it is X. So X means that I. So now you can substitute into the determinant. So MX is equal to uh, I dot r a cross f so this is the 
I take K. Uh, so because of, uh, U is I, so now one here, and the rate is zero, and then uh, this is a three, and this is the position vector, uh, three four six. So here this is the F, so F is this uh, negative, okay? So you can solve that, uh, so you can have that, uh, and X is equal to negative eight newton dot meter. Okay, so how to solve that? So because of this is the one, so here, so you only have this one. So you can have that one, yeah, it's good to one, four times that minus six, twenty. So negative sign indicate that the sign of mx is opposite to i. So this is the mx okay at the newton dot meter next uh, we need to determine the moment of force about the a axis so a axis is the direction of the ua so the m a is equal to what ua dot r cross f so this is the f and this is the R. So we can have the similar uh, magnitude, right? Okay. So now where is the UA? So UA is here. So this is the AA. So AA here is uh, in between. So in between the R and J. So now uh, you need to resolve uh this uh, line this exists a into a j and then uh, this exists a into i okay so now you can have that uh you had you need to determine this angle and this angle so by represent by this scale so this scale is given by this is four this is three and this is five so now by determine uh, by determine this angle, you can have that uh, U A is equal to I I I. This is positive, so over there is negative. So I if negative. Um, so here, uh, this angle uh, you can have that a uh, sine theta. So because of this, uh, you're going to have the cos theta. So sine theta is equal to negative uh, 3 over 5 so negative is the position position i so negative 3 over 5 and then uh, j is positive so cos theta cos theta means that 4 over 5 so 4 over this is j and this is i ok so you have that ua is negative 3 over 5 i plus 4 over 5 G. So this is for the UA. So you need to uh, substitute into determinant. Okay. Can you solve that? Okay. Here. Uh, this is the solution. So here it is negative plus. So here MA is equal to UA dot RA cross F. And then you substitute um, I J K. So this is the uh, U U A uh, negative. This is negative. Negative. This is negative. So this is the same R A and this is the same F. So you can solve. Then you can determine that the answer is negative one hundred twenty newton dot meter. So um, because of the negative. So, uh, it act opposite to the A. -E. Uh, so, this is the moment. 120 Newton dot meter. Next, in scalar method. Okay. So, based on these forces. So, um, these forces in component Z. This is component X and this is component J. 
So now, only uh, 10 newton and 20 newton force can contribute moment about the x axis. So this is the x axis. So now how? So now, uh, okay, why 40 cannot be created moment? Because this 40 is the parallel to this x, right? Uh, parallel to this x. So that is why uh, 40 uh, create moment 0. So now by using the right hand draw, you can try. So now first, so this uh, 10 newton. So this force 10 newton. So you can uh, go uh, what is the distance? So 10 times 4 here. So 10 times 4. So here 20. 20 the distance is 6 here. 6 meter. So because of it, this is the counterclockwise. This is the clockwise. So this one negative. This one is positive. So this one is the negative here. 20 times 6. So the answer is negative 80 dot meter which is similar to the vector. Okay, next and y. So now we want to uh, get the moment into y based on these forces. So which force uh, created moment at point y? So, so this is y. So uh, we have here this uh, 10 and this 40. Y 20. So, because 20 is lies with the uh, parallel to the uh, axis y. So, now we can have that. My is equal to 10 times 3. So, this is 3. Times 3 here. Okay. So, uh, because also uh, this 10 uh, counterclockwise. And then 40. So, 40 here uh, goes down here also clockwise become negative so negative 40 times c so it's equal to negative 210 newton dot meter so this is for my and the last one mz so what is the force can create that moment at z so do we have moment from this uh, time no because a uh, time is parallel to the axis z so we have 40 and 20 so now 40 goes to the z, it's become positive. So 40 times 4, uh, 40 times 4 here. So minus, okay, 20 times 3 here. So this is 3. Uh, 3, okay. So because of uh, clockwise, it's become negative here. 20 times 3 is equal to 100 newton dot meter next example 4.14 so we have that uh, the road is supported by two brackets a a at a and p determine moment m a b produced by the f is given in a uh, cartesian already negative 600 i plus 200 k minus 300 k newton which tends to rotate the road about the a b as it so now we need to determine what is this moment. So first we need to get what is the U. Right. So this is F is given. So um, the formula M A B is equal to U A B dot R cross F. So, this F is already in Cartesian. So, R. Which R? What R? And send this one. UAB. How to determine the UAB? So, you need to determine the unit vector UAB. So, you can have that. Uh, what is the position vector of RAB? So, what is the coordinate B and what is the coordinate A? So, A definitely A0, 0, 0. So, B. So, so here A, 0, 0. So, here B is 0 0.4 and then 0 0.2, 0 
zero. Right. So you can have that. Um, R A B. Or you can have the R B R B A also. Also okay lah. So you can have the R R B A is equal to zero point four I plus zero point two J. And then the unit vector, as usual, you need to determine what is the magnitude. Then you can have, then you can determine the unit vector A, B. So now, uh, which R? So R is the uh, distance, okay, from the line of force to the point that we want to determine. So now, we need to determine the R what? R. So this is. So you can transmit to this. You can get what is D here. You need to determine the R D. So what is the position D? D um, is 0 I. Uh, y is 0 0.2. And then K is 0. So R D is 0 0.2. To J only. So here, uh, okay. So here, here we can determine the MAB. MAB is equal to U uh, dot U B R cross F, and then uh, you have determined the unit vector of B. So here is the unit vector of B. Okay, so you can have that uh, is equal to zero point eight nine four I plus zero point four four seven J. Then you can substitute into the determinant. So here, so here is the F. So F is already given. Uh, negative six hundred I plus two hundred J minus three hundred K, and then uh, you can substitute. Uh, what is the U B dot R D cross F? So this is the U. Uh, in I J and K. And then this is the R, R D, and this is the F, negative, positive, negative. So you can solve mm, the determinant, the metric. So the MAB is equal to negative 53.67. So negative means that MAB is, uh, is opposite to the UB. Next case here uh, is the magnitude. So now if you want to determine in Cartesian form, so you can multiply with the unit vector UB. So this is the magnitude of MAB. So you multiply with the UB. So it's become negative 53.67 multiply with the uh, unit vector B. So you can have that uh, in uh, vector form. So you can have that uh, MAB is equal to negative 48.0i minus 24.0j. So if you want to get the uh, magnitude, you can have that uh, 48 square plus 24 square root. Okay. So here, uh, if as if AB is defined uh, using unit vector directed B towards A, so the above formulation negative UB should be used. So you can... Uh, do by yourself, you can have that MAB is equal to magnitude MAB multiply negative UB. Okay, so uh, that's all for this uh, topic. So, hope uh, you can answer all the tutorial under the principles of moment. And then, uh, you should be able to solve the triple product vector to determine the moment of force about the specified disease. Okay.